Hello everyone, Bigdosis here and welcome to my video commentary on a Plaguefall 14 I did earlier as a BM Hunter. In this run I will tell you uh, about the decisions I make, uh, things to look out for and mistakes where I and maybe you can uh, improve as a BM Hunter. Uh, so let's see. Uh, well, openings, pack, pop everything you have of course. Uh, sadly uh, uh, the CC was broken and so the soldier came out which uh, made that we couldn't interrupt the fungi stormer. Uh, as you can see I popped, uh, you can see it down here, a defensive 20% uh, uh, DR for the, the storm. Um, well, during the pull, if you see those big axes on the side, like you can see on the mob now, that's a mob you can uh, kill shot. Here I can see I can kill shot, sh kill shot it for quite some time and I'm not doing it. Um, so that's uh, something I should look out for more. Um, as you go going to the end of the pool, try and pump all your barb shot in so the cooldown on your bestial rat is up uh, faster. Um, here we can... Uh, well, we can't stun the fungi storm, but luckily our uh, paladin blinded them. This is a bug group, by the way. Um, earlier, uh, early on in the uh, 9.1, uh, the shaman in the party is uh, yeah, he's a friend of mine. Um, as you can see on the meters down on the bottom right of, of the screen, you see. Uh, Beast Mastery Hunters, we don't really have uh, much going for us in, in like burst windows, but we have short cooldowns. Here try and, and use your barb shots on as many targets as you can. Uh, interrupt that cast from the Fungi Stormer to prevent uh, AoE uh, group wide damage. That's something you could easily do and you should always do. Uh, try and keep your stacks up, as you can see. Uh, that's very important. Keep your keep your frenzy up. Um, that's uh, that way uh, your pet does more damage. You do more damage. Well, here, uh, if you have your cooldowns back up, just pop them. Uh, stack on your teammate for the wave of terror and then spread out for this cleave. Um, what I should have done here, because uh, I have a bleed on me, I should have popped my Kyrian Vow, like I'm doing right now. I could have popped it a little earlier, uh, that way I didn't get so much damage, it would be easier for the healer. Something you could do. Um, uh, on 9.1 I swapped to Kyrian, by the way. So I'm not like fully... Uh, uh, how do you say that? I don't have all the conduits yet. Um, try and don't focus cap, but don't focus starve yourself either. Um, on these, uh, most of the time it's it's good to, to take the stats increase for more baseline crit, more crits, more barb shot, more barb shots, more uh, bestial wrath, and this will make uh, sure that you'll deal uh, more damage. I have the legendary that the Beast of Your Wrath will give you 35% more damage, if I'm, I'm correct. Um, so yeah. Uh, on this pool, the tank said uh, DPS uh, chill. Um, as everyone was pumping their damage and I popped my cooldowns, which was totally useless. I should have waited for him. Perhaps this guy and and pumped uh pump my cooldowns in this one um here as a hunter you have uh a tar trap to slow the ads uh, when he will spawn them or uh you have your binding shot uh, try and use them uh on this group actually everyone was really paying attention to the mobs and and doing their job well but if you have a pug where where uh, no one is paying attention and no one is See, seeing the ads, uh, you have your tar trap, you have your um, binding shot. Uh, you can even, if it's necessary, do like a freezing trap on one. 
of course you don't have your your binding shots or uh, uh, your tar trap if you're using that legendary but I really don't like the uh, the use of that legendary so uh, I'm pausing on that one here we go binding shot almost off cooldown so we're gonna binding shot them luckily the druid is rooting them as well A lot of damage from the druid. Here, uh, I, I disengage almost immediately um, back to the boss because when he does this slime wave, you have more time to move out. Um, I still got. Uh, I, I thought I was gonna get hit, um, so I, I popped turtle there. Uh, wasn't necessary, but still. Here, freeze trap the big guy, um, so you don't have to worry about that one. Uh, Try and use your your def uh, your offensive cooldowns um, on cooldown. If mobs get closer to uh, to the boss, uh, stun them with intimidation from your pet. Keep up your stacks. Uh, well, aspect of the cheetah to 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 run past easy, easy dodge, and we go on to the next boss. Uh, if you're watching this video as a uh, maybe from a tank perspective, I don't know why you clicked on a BM video, but still, um, look at how this tank is, is tanking. Uh, personally, I didn't like the the part where uh, where we are in right now, but his tanking was very good overall. He was an amazing tank, and so if you're if you look and uh, watching this, uh, uh, try and and see what he does. Uh, the pace in which he is doing it is great. It's easy. Uh, here you can see I have my resonating arrow. Um, I don't know what a route we're taking. It wasn't shared beforehand. Uh, that's something I'm, I missed, so I don't know which pools we're doing, if, if we're gonna uh, do a big pool after, so I'm keeping my resonating arrow for now. I think it was a bad choice. I should have used it, because the fight uh, prolonged for about 10 seconds, so um, in those 10 seconds I could have used the full duration of it. Because here we're pulling the plague borers. Um, could have used them right in here. <coughs> Still not using them. Um, as you can see, I tried to multi dot um, uh, multiple targets. Like I multi dot the, the slime, then the plague borer. Um, this is quite some damage if you if you don't do that. So so please be aware. Um, PM is a very easy spec to play, but still, try and spread your dots as, as evenly as you can. Um, I was impressed by the damage that the, uh, the DH tank was doing, so uh, mid-fight I, I decided to, to check his eye, uh, eye level. Uh, the guy was really, really awesome. But as you can see on the damage meters down and down on the left, we're doing okay, but not great. We're uh, on the bottom uh, of the three DPS packs. Um, this will change over time. Uh, you will see at the end of the video. Um, BM hunters, we don't have burst, but uh, we do consistent damage, and, and especially when you get some more crit by uh, using the Kyrian legendary or the uh, covenant ability from the Kyrian, but if you spec into more crit, more barbed shots, and, and overall at the later stages of the game, I think BM's, uh, BM's damage will be uh, great, so don't worry about it. Uh, and still, overall, we're doing fine. Uh, we don't have any pride anymore. Uh, usually it will be off to this pack by the way. Uh, spread your dots out. It's better to kill the kill the slime of course. Um, uh, because it gives uh, damage reduction to the uh, to the mob next to it. 
which uh, it's always good to, to spread it out a little. Here I pop Beast Your Wrath wasn't a great idea because I'm not gonna use the full duration. Luckily, we're gonna go straight into another pool where I can use it, but uh, it was a little iffy. I could have saved it there. I'm very aware of the, the slime on the left side of me. I don't want to pull extra and, and throw a wrench in the in the plan of this, uh, this demon hunter. Here I do a binding shot because the slime claws usually run uh, or they, they run when they almost die so I, uh, I try and do that. I keep the resonating arrow uh, because we're gonna do a boss pull or a general pull, I don't know how you call it. Here I turtle, uh, planning on, on taking more of those but someone else did it so it wasn't really necessary. Uh, multi dot them again, easy. Well, it's always easy. I I just disengage after. That way, you're out of harm's way. Right from the start. Uh, Should have binding shot at the the two slime claws over there. Um, didn't do it because as you can see the druid is uh, still star falling them and there's a patrol on the left as well he will i think he will show even soon um could have been well i don't know disastrous but uh it could have been that we pulled the spine breaker with the uh with the uh, this this mini boss so it's good to to uh cc them uh for me watching this back and and talk to you guys about this uh it's something I could do it next time. Here for some reason the demon hunter is doing a sane amount of damage. I don't know how it works, DH, but this is crazy. Well, these plague borers usually blow up and kill the slime tentacle, so don't don't use like your resonating arrow for this. Uh, Beast of Wrath is easy because you have it back up so quickly, but um, don't use uh, don't, don't use your other cooldowns. Your uh, resonating arrow and uh, I don't know what's it called the leaf thing uh, that gives extra crit, which is very good and extra uh, um, focus regen. As you can see, we used Bestial Rat on the pull. Uh, we got one barb shot back, almost getting the second one back. And uh, with the second one, Bestial Rat will come off cooldown almost immediately again. So don't save up on your Bestial Rat, just use them all the time. And uh, try and uh, at the end of a pull, try to, if Bestial Rat is not up, pump all your uh, barb shots in the enemy. Uh, even foregoing some other damages, just so you have your abyssal rat quickly back up. Here, multi dot again, important. More damage, always good. Uh, guys, if you like this video. Please uh, leave a like. Uh, maybe it turn consider subscribing. I'm gonna do more of these uh, like guide videos talking about what I'm doing um, in the future on on different dungeons as well, and maybe also on higher uh, level keys uh, which I'm pugging uh, or some some live commentary videos. Uh, like I did earlier on Theater of Pain. Um, I'm very curious what you guys thought of that one. That was a really a first try and well this this is also kind of new to me so um, all constructive criticism is is very welcome. 
uh, leave a comment uh, down below uh, what you think uh, what what went right but also what went wrong what what you guys think could could be done better um, would would be greatly appreciated so please uh, please do that um, well here we uh, we take the general out first I think uh, uh, that's a great plan from this tank to go here first for the extra damage buff because this one also gives a damaging buff um, you saw me feign that there for a second I have the conduit uh, which gives me like a 5-6% DR um, when using feign that or, or after using feign that I have to say um, that is uh, uh, pretty useful uh, I should have used it during the dungeon more uh, more often. I, I I'm not doing that all the time yet, so it's something uh, I should work on. Um, here, the the tank is just waiting for the the boss to jump, and we're just gonna combine the pull. And it's something that's that's easily doable. These mobs are going down fairly quickly, and we have a lot of uh, we have pretty high group wide damage, so so that's good. Um, as you can see on the meters, I'm slowly surpassing the the druid on on overall damage because he will bump out <coughs> a lot of damage. Sorry about that. He will bump out a lot of damage in in a quick burst window, but we can over several pulls uh, do better. Here I tried to use a barb shot um, just before he jumped away, so the stacks would be still be rolling and I had time to run to the next platform and um, uh, and to keep the keep the stacks up um, yeah luckily the shaman interrupted that one that was a bit of an awkward placement because um, the boss is outside of its range um, Luckily the, the tanks wa walks him in, but cooldown is already done. It's, I think it's always difficult to, to tell where the, the lines are going. It should be easy to tell, I think, but I think it's, it's always pretty hard. Uh, here he jumps away, but I don't have um, a barb chopped up. Uh, for when he jumps away, so uh, sadly uh, the stacks drop, but we got one barb shot back by the time we got there, and we have bestial wrath up, so we can can easily regain the triple stacks. Uh, I have burning strain on me. Uh, I should have used like faint death, for example, to reduce the damage. Uh, there, uh, there I popped my cooldown, but. Uh, I was too busy popping my cooldown. I uh, should have firstly um, used barbed shot to to regain the the stacks or to keep up the steps. I have to say, um, yeah, it's it's those those minor things where where you can increase your damage as a as a BM uh, like a little bit. It's 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 really it's a, it's an easy class to play. Um, I really suggest playing it for, for people that are very busy with work or have a, a very busy social life but still want to do like uh, some keys on a decent level. Um, they uh, they should yeah play play something evil uh, easy. Don't don't go like fire mage for example, which is uh, I think a very difficult spec to play. And then and you uh, want to play with some friends and, and it's not fun at all. Um, here I stun the, the bulwark um, use your, your pet, uh, pet stun for that or or if you're coordinated you can even binding shot and someone like knock it back for example but um, uh, that way he doesn't do like this this area of effect where, it, where people can't damage uh, stuff um, I also s didn't use resonating arrow on that pull because I wanted to use it on this pull um, sadly I don't have an interrupt, but luckily the tank had the fear ready. Uh, and so the bulwark got stunned again. 
As you can see, the this tank has a very high pace, but it is a demon hunter tank, which which makes sure that yeah, it's it's fairly easy to. Uh, here I have to turtle because I was not gonna move away from it on time. Uh, as you can see, I have a stun. I use it. Um, to, to take out the bulwark because we don't want to fight this general longer than, than need be. Let's see. Oh yeah, I use feign death on that one uh, to reduce the damage from this ice ability. It's not by a long, uh, it's, it's not much, but it, it helps. Um, and every bit helps because hunters are quite squishy from themselves. So it's always good. So we got the shield from the second general, which prevents us from uh, dying by one shots, and this one uh, helps us stay alive longer as well. Here, the the enveloping webbing. I shouldn't have interrupted that. Um, someone pointed that out to me earlier. Uh, when he does that, that web, he's not doing anything. He's not doing damage. He's not doing, he's doing nothing. And so it's it's good to not interrupt that. Just let it go. Um, if you can, always misdirect your tank. I try to do that um, every pull. This this dungeon, it's not really necessary because this tank is is way in front of everyone. So. Yeah, he's good. If you can, interrupt the stealth links. If you can't, well, at least try and flare them up so so everyone knows where those little buggers are. Because if if the ambush goes off, especially this week where mobs hit harder, then then it's it's terrible. It hurts a lot. Uh, stacks are sadly drop, but. Here I use Bestial Wrath. We go right into the next pull, so it's it's okay, but it's not great. Could have could have used it a little later. Um, there the the tank feared them, which was really nice. Demon Hunter tanks. Uh, I use Flare there not really necessary because they uh, spawned right on top of us so everyone knew where they were uh. as you can see we don't have any deaths yet and, and the run is going smoothly uh, also you can see that uh, on the meters we have slowly succumbed uh, came to the first place over over the course of this dungeon. Um, it's not by uh, a big margin, but uh, we are slowly getting there. Um, our item level is also lower than uh, the other two DPS, um, so so we're doing we're doing fine in that department. Here you can always help the tank out by flaring one uh, spot that's like off of the rest for example there uh, you can see where I put the flare it was on a different spot than where the tank was running that way it was very easy for the tank to um, to get everyone out which you can also do is like use a frost trap for example also very easy um, here we go flare the one on the side um, we go back into the group Skittle getting a bit spicy for the tank's health, but he managed to get through. Uh, while all this is busy, try and keep up your keep up your frenzy stacks. Uh, use skill command off cooldown. Uh, spam that button if need be uh, for your barb chop to uh, to keep up your stacks. There we go. We light up the one. Um, I used my uh, Kyrian ability here, 
uh, it was not really necessary, but it's also not going to really be necessary for the next pull. Um, here I should have mounted, would be a little bit faster because I could have disengaged here. But yeah, that's minor. As you can see, we uh, multi dot them again. Uh, the tank wants, wants to go to the left here. Uh, don't forget to jump. Uh, firstly, I died here because I forgot to jump. Jump. That's Otherwise, you will die in the pool. Um, yeah. This is all easy. You, uh, if, if, if your tank is having a hard time, you can use like... Um, Binding shot and stuff here. Here on this pool, I, I just pop everything because it's it will be back in an, in one minute. Uh, aspect of the wild wild won't be, but the rest is. Um, so that's fine. Uh, I wait with well, there's PC wrath again, so I can keep up the stacks. Uh, try and not let your your stacks. Um, be full, but sometimes, well, they get yeah, you get them so quickly. Um, I try and never let uh, barb shot cap on, too. Here as a beast monster hunter on this on this fight, just every phase, just pop everything you have because it's it's easy. Uh, I'm waiting with uh, BCO Wrath until the resonating arrow is back. There we go. Uh, multi shot this. Because your pets can cleave. Um, sadly, I let my stacks drop, which was a bit bad. But and there we go. She's almost going to the next phase. I think it was 70%. Oh, wait. No. Uh, just be still wrath again. Because it, it will be up before she uh, re emerges in the next phase. There I used a health potion just to, to top myself up. It's something you can do easily as a hunter. Because uh, you are not really reliable, uh, or yeah, you're uh, dying fairly easily. Try and use your, your cooldowns as much as you can. On this part, you should never get hit. And there, we have everything up again. So, resonating arrow, beast of wrath. Uh, this time, we got aspect of the wild as well. So, you can pop everything on this fight. Easily, you can pick off the mobs on the side. And here, try and, and use your two uh, barb shots and then beast your rat, because when you do, you have three stacks and you have one left, so uh, you can use that to refresh. And uh, as you can see, uh, the Kyrian ability is also coming off cooldown again, so you can still use that for the extra little bit of damage. And there we go. This was a, a plus 14. Two timed. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this guide. Um, please leave, leave a comment with, with constructive criticism or feedback. Uh, would be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.